I see considerable evidence of obstruction of justice, which is what Mueller said. He lays it out for Congress, and he practically invites Congress uh, to, to, pursue the, to pursue that. Barr took it upon himself to announce that he decided to clear the, to clear, uh, the president. It's not up to him. We need the whole report. We need the whole report, including the underlying documents, unredacted. Judiciary Chair Jerry Nadler, that's just a few moments ago, slamming the Attorney General yet again and calling for the full, unredacted Mueller report. Here to react is Mark Levin, host of Life, Liberty, and Levin. Good morning to you, Mark. Good morning, and it's always good to wake up to a slip and fall lawyer like Jerry Nadler. Hmm. And uh, they'll bring their lawsuit and they'll lose. Uh, so this is all about the press. And I'd like to get to that in a minute. But if I could talk about this report. Everybody's focused on volume two, aren't they? Including us. Volume two. What did McGahn say? And why did the president tell McGahn not to say this? Why do we keep focusing on this? This report, volume two, doesn't have a syllable of legal significance. There's not a syllable of law in it. It doesn't matter what McGahn said or what the president said. None of it's been tested in a court of law. There's been no um, uh, challenge to it. There's been no cross-examination. Nothing. That's why Mueller wrote this. This is a political document that he should never have written. A political document that's 200 pages long that the press keeps focusing on. That's why he and Weissman and the others wrote it, because he knew you all, he knew CNN would be obsessed with it. He knew that uh, MSNBC would be obsessed with it. This is an op-ed. This is a 200-page op-ed. That's all this is. No prosecutor who wouldn't want to be disbarred would ever produce anything like this, talking, well, this guy said this, and why did the president say that? How do you know? Well, the prosecutor said. Well, who gives a damn what the prosecutor said? He's not God. He's not a judge. He's but not Mark, a jury. But, Mark, you're quoting the White House counsel. Doesn't whether or not so the president what? told... Doesn't whether the president told the truth or not matter to you? It matters completely to me. So how do you know this is truthful, Ed? He's the White House counsel. Do you think he lied to how the How do you know this is truthful, Ed? You have no know. idea. You know that the prosecutor put words in here that he was told by another individual. That has never been challenged. president says he didn't say that. So you have no idea. I have no idea. That's why we have a court of law. That's why prosecutors, damn it, are not supposed to write essays like this. Now we have a special counsel. And the Democrats knew a special counsel could write a report. They're not focused on volume one, which is legal, which does cite law, which was an investigation that found no collusion. That was the purpose of the investigation. Obstruction was not the purpose of the investigation. And he didn't have an obstruction case against the President of the United States, or he would have brought it. I'm using plain English so even Joe Scarborough and Jake Tapper can understand this. <laughs> Volume 2 is crap. Volume 2 was written for slip-and-fall lawyer Nadler, slip-and-fall lawyer Schiff. That's why he wrote it. He knew the media would run with it. Volume 1... Mr. Mueller should have come up to a microphone six, 12 months into his investigation and announced to the American people, I have great news. The president didn't collude. His campaign didn't collude. There's no collusion. I'm shutting down this investigation. I got Manafort. I'll give it to the U.S. attorney in Virginia. I'll give this one to the Southern District in New York. He didn't do it. Why didn't he do that? And right to the end. They're trying to get the president's in-person testimony about something he knew never happened. Collusion. And yet, why is this report even faulty? How can you talk about Russia interference in our election and ignore the Hillary Clinton campaign and the DNC and the senior level of the FBI that's been wiped out by their own conduct? How in the world can you do that? Not interview Barack Obama and Susan Rice and all the rest of them. This is a hack job. Now, where are we here? Where are we here? From my perspective, it's now a matter of the American people versus the press. Or I would call them the unfree press. We had a report by the Shortson Center at Harvard. It's, it's going to be in my new book. The first 100 days of coverage of Trump presidency. They looked at seven major media outlets, including Fox, CNN and NBC, 90% negative. 
The rest of the media, 70 to 80 percent negative. Fox, 52, 48 negative to positive, the only even-handed one. And they said, this is Harvard, not me, in every dimension, the reporting was overwhelmingly negative. This isn't a free press. This isn't serious. They keep bringing this fool Nadler up there. He's going to bring a phony lawsuit. He's going to, he's going to subpoena this trashing of an attorney general of the United States who followed the law. I want well, the American people to understand something real fast. The way the regulation reads is this report, which he didn't have to produce this, the prosecutor, he wanted to produce this. This report goes to the attorney general of the United States. He's not an observer. He's in the regulation. He decides what to say, what not to say. It, he decides what's relevant. He's the Attorney General of the United States, not Robert Mueller. Right, so Mike. they are destroying the, pre the Attorney General of the United States, the media are, mm. because they destroy anybody who stands up to the mob. Well, we're going to see because the Attorney General is going to be up there on the first and second. I think he'll just do fine for himself, and then we'll go from here. Mark Levin, we're going to watch you the weekend, Life, uh, Liberty, and Levin. And we're going to go Saturday get. Saturday and Sunday. And it's not too, too early to uh, pre order your book, right? It's never too early. If you want more, Brian, tell me. Right. Freedom of the press. All right, the great one. Thank you, Mark. God bless.